Hello you lovelies, welcome to the channel, it's Arad and uh, in today's video we're gonna look into the 18th of uh, September, almost uh, missed the month. So 18th of September 2022nd happens to be uh, Sunday and uh, through the eyes of Taro uh, I'm curious to see what kind of a day we're gonna have, what the day has in store for us and uh, if you are uh, interested in a personal reading with me or if you do uh, want to take my classes you can check out the description down below there you're going to find a link to my website uh, where you can view and purchase whichever service is going to suit your needs so with that said let's uh, do the cut and uh, see what we have now the first one oops i have it uh, the wrong way so the first one uh, that is going to be uh, it's the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I'm not very familiar with that deck and its illustrations. So it is the Ten of Cups, the first one. Uh, followed by the second. Uh, that's, uh, oh, we do have a Phoenix here. It is the Death card. And uh, the final one for the day, uh, that's going to be the Six of Pentacles, uh, for what it seems. So these are the three cards for the day, and that is how the Elemental Dignity reading uh, pretty much stands. And this is going to be very, very interesting day uh, by the look of these cards. Now, on one hand, according to them, uh, the day is going to be a very pleasant to be a part of, very pleasant to uh, experience overall. And uh, I suffice to say that almost everything we planned for the day is going to go very, very smooth, whether that's a romantic dinner or just having a picnic with friends, going on a hike or just, you know, laying down the couch at home and watching TV shows, whatever the case, uh, those cards are showing that uh, the day is going to run uh, very, very smoothly. And things that we have imagined are going to make, are going to uh, deliver pleasure to us. They are going to do exactly that. They are going to deliver a pleasure. But exactly this pleasure, for one or another reason, is going to be the issue or the problem. What happens if you overindulge or if you indulge yourself with the very, very same things over and over again? Well, you get used to it. And that's what all these three cards are representing. We are going to realize that we are getting used to what beforehand made us be in an ecstasy, gave us content, exhilaration. We felt the fullness of life. So uh, throughout the day, uh, most of us are going to start contemplating, or even all of us are going to start contemplating, but there should be more in life, you know, there should be more that we should go for, there should be more that we can do, there should be more that we do deserve. And that is going to provoke us moving forward, not particularly within this day, but moving forward to just, you know, seek those kind of new things that make our life worth even more living, or worth living even more than it is worth uh, living right now however there is a catch to it according to that card and uh, it will be best if we kind of like see it into the uh, 18th of September and that is having this death card over there uh, next to the um, ten of cups and it kind of shows that although we are going to have our day running pleasantly for the most part and most of its activities and enterprises are going to make us feel very very pleasant some of them are simply they 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 go nowhere they they doesn't contribute to us like for example watching a um well i can't say you know, well, well watch i was about to say watching a comedy but comedy make us laugh and you know laughing it's it's kind of like healing so uh it's a bad example that i was that i tried to give uh like i don't know oh my god i'm short on examples well i'm gonna say it that way then uh an activity that we like doing but it just get us nowhere it is after it's done um, nothing can come out of it and that way you can just you know consider it a waste of time so we should 
or rather like it's advisable we definitely don't have to but it's advisable to think of those activities and just you know replace them with such kind of activities that we would like doing and that they are going to lead to something uh, positive to something product productive to something more tangible than it is right now so the result of a Sunday uh, is going to be that we are going to enter the next week, most likely much more eager to, to uh, grow into uh, our social circles, into our career as well. Uh, <clears throat> Also, we are going to be more determined to uh, prove ourselves more, although that's not exactly the, the correct word I should use. Let's say to, ch to challenge ourselves more, better, with more difficult stuff, so we can get bigger results. Uh, and uh, as far as human interaction goes with those uh, cards, well, I think that this is going to be, uh, by the look of those cards, this is going to be the turning point where we will decide that uh, we should step up a little bit with our human interactions in a sense of that we should stop indulging people that are making us feel, like said, going nowhere, making us feel stuck and instead indulging ourselves with people who can actually contribute for the growth of our social circle, love, life, career, and so on, and uh, and, and so forth. And overall, it's going to be a great day. Uh, by the way, with the Six of Pentacles having it next to the uh, Ten of Cups, uh, that also breeds a personal strength and power, which means that uh, throughout the day, we are going to pleasantly realize that some of our problems, actually, we don't need any help with. In fact, we, we all, all that it takes is that we kind of like glance at them and determine to resolve them and they're going to start resolving very very easily and that way we are going to see that we are far far stronger than we think we are within our love life or within our career or within our social life and so with that said that is uh, the uh, daily tarot guidance for 18th of september 2022nd Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.